One minute before 9 o'clock, you on Morning Live. Thank you so much indeed for staying with us. Now, last night, the public art in South Africa, Bronze Warriors and Plastic Presidents book was launched at the University of Johannesburg. The two authors, Professor Kim Miller and Professor Brenda Schmerman, based their book on how monuments, statues and other forms of art created in apartheid currently contribute towards uh, racial, gender and identity tensions in South Africa. The two professors are with me here in studio and we'll have this conversation. Good morning to both of you and thank you so much for coming Good through. Morning. Good, morning. Good morning. Thank you so much indeed. Let's start with the title of the book, Public Art in South Africa, Bronze Warriors and Plastic Presidents. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying to think of a catchy title sure. and it would be exciting. And the Bronze Warriors picks up a wonderful work by Andri Spurter, which was very contentious. And the Plastic Presidents was an intervention to works at the University of the Free State by an artist called Chigdom Ademir. Okay. So we just put these together as an elusive title. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, the book really, what, what does it talk about? I mean, we saw protests here in South Africa, people protesting against your um, former regime statues that are here. Mm -hmm. Was it influenced by those? Uh, the book itself uh, started before the protest, so we, we actually started having conversations about the idea about the book maybe four or five years ago in Brenda's kitchen, actually. <laughs> um, and then we put together a proposal and brought together scholars from around the world who could speak to issues of public art. Uh, but this was in 2014, so it preceded the roads must fall. Yeah, so uh, it was movements. before that. Yes, yes. yeah, but right. it does. But and, it, and I know Prof. Miller, you're from the United States. That's right. What is your observation on those issues here at home? Yeah, so my interest in this uh, comes from thinking really about the um, gender, the influence of gender in public art and how public art represents or fails to represent uh, women's issues and the issues of gender. And so my observations um, have really to do with um, how heroes or how heroes of the struggle are represented in South African public art or how they are invisible. Yeah, and how are they represented? Are they well represented or is it still something lacking? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're represented in diverse ways and that was the, one of the interests we picked mm -hmm. up in the book. Um, some of them are, we've got some fantastically innovative uh, representations of public figures um, I would think of something like Marco Cianfinelli's mm -hmm. work in Howick, which is fantastic, the capture site. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have some that are more traditionalist. And one of the interests we have is not simply in representing uh, a different set of heroes within the contemporary framework in contrast to apartheid, but also looking at different ways of representing them as well and what is most effective. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. But in your view, do you think mm. the new monuments that we have here in South Africa uh, go well in terms of addressing the undesirable pasts? Are we just sweeping the past under the carpet and leave it at that? Do we need to address that? Well, that's one of the, the interests that we have. And that's my mm. particular interest yes, yes. as well. Um, I, I also picked up that from, I'd written a book in 2013, um, looking at issues around transformation at mm. visual culture at universities. And this was sort of developed in some way in this book, um, as well as one of our themes. Um, so we were really both looking, and me particularly, I think, in, mm -hmm. in that regard, um, at how works from the past are negotiated within the present. Mm -hmm. um, and that sort of, in, in a sense, predated the Roads Must Fall movement. So should we behave in those discussions? I mean, I just want to tap back a little to what happened a few weeks mm -hmm. ago during Black Monday, where we've seen people portraying the old South African flag. They even yeah. went as far as singing the old uh, Distem, the national mm -hmm. anthem. So do we need that discussion now? I think those yeah. discussions are important. And I think what we're seeing that publics around the world are, are interested in public art and are angry about prejudicial public art. Mm -hmm. I think that you see um, in South Africa, certainly, and also in the United States right now, um, uh, huge audiences uh, who want to see um, certain statues taken down, who want to see other people uh, represented more frequently uh, as statues in the public. And I think that the fact that so many people in South Africa and around the world are interested in this mm -hmm. is uh, evidence that we, with these conversations are important. And yeah. it's not just about what we're looking at. All right, do you want to add on that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so the book itself, uh, was it just compiled by the two of you or did you work with some other researchers, maybe international researchers? Oh, I know the, that you, yeah. We're the, the co-editors of okay. the, the volume. So in fact, we, we put out a call for papers and also identified people who were working in areas we knew were interesting. Yeah. 
So it's got quite a number of authors in it. Yeah. So we contributed our own essay and we wrote the introduction. Each of us had an essay and the introduction. And then we got a selection of other authors yeah, yeah. here as well. All right. So the book is sold out. It launched just last night. <laughs> it sold out last night, but you can still buy a copy if you'd like to. <laughs> and they're still, they're still available. But, but how, 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 how easy it is for, for us to read it? I mean, you professors, yes. you academics, yeah. as a, a difficult reader. Yeah. An we're we're professors, read? and most of the uh, other authors in the book are professors, not all of them. But, um, so it's scholarly, but it's also very accessible. Uh, people at our book launch last night, some of them were asking this question, yeah. and, and other people ha who have read it have commented that it's written in a very accessible way. We've written it so that uh, people will want to read it and will be able to read it. Yeah, and I know there's a conference currently taking place at UJ now mm -hmm. addressing the same issues. Talk to us about that conference. Well, we contextualized it, the, the um, conference really to happen with the book launch. Um, so we took the, the, the issues around public art in South Africa and extended them to have a call for papers for international issues around public mm -hmm. art in, well, internationally. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at mm -hmm. a wide range of topics from Confederate monuments to uh, Comfort Women mm -hmm. memorials to all sorts of contentious and difficult mm -hmm. art from around the world, mm -hmm. Holocaust memorials, um, etc. Um, so we've taken the issues that are pertinent to South Africa and applied them in an international mm -hmm. context. Yeah, the conference is called Troubling Histories. Oh. So all of, the, uh, all of the people who are part of the conference are somehow mm -hmm. thinking about public art in relation to mm -hmm. a problem in the past or mm -hmm. some kind of troubling part of history. It's, yeah. It sounds a little bit complicated, but are people really interested in this topic? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we put out, for example, even just our call for papers. Yeah. We put, we've yeah. had so many applications to participate in the conference. That shows the interest. And then when we, uh, when we launched the book last night, we, had sort of, we got a yeah. select number of copies to make available. Yeah. Cause, um, and we just sold them out very right. fast. No, I, I know I've got to let you go to the conference now. I've got to <laughs> release you. Thank you so much for thank coming you. through. And all the best with the conference. So it's over four days. That's right. Yes. All right. Okay, yes. thank you so much. Thank you. Well, there you have it. We're in conversation with Professor Kim Miller and uh, Professor Brenda Schmerman talking to us about uh, the book Public Art uh, in uh, Public Art in South Africa. Of course, there is the book that talks a little bit about our history from the past to where South Africa is now. Let's take a quick break. Your morning live, one more item, and then we say goodbye. Stay tuned. Thank you.